You follow all the rules. You breed the best to the best. You feed the best hay and grain. You turn to the best trainer, the best rider, at the best training center. At last, your horse is ready. Hey, Bill, is my colt ready to win today? Do what? Scratch? Why? Quarter crank? Stone bruise? Abscess? Hot nail? Grab quarter? Heel pain? Often overlooked and underappreciated, the foot remains the foundation of any horse. No foot, no horse. The old adage still echoes today from the racetrack to the show ring. But what is actually happening inside the hoof when the horse strides along the ground? How does his locomotion affect his race? Why does he need shoes? These answers will be revealed with many others as we continue with the Welfare and Safety of the Racehorse Summit's presentation of the hoof inside and out, an owner's and trainer's guide to understanding the importance of hoof care and shoeing. Before we can go inside the foot, we must understand how a horse moves. While standing still, the horse carries approximately 60% of its weight on the front limbs and 40% on the hind limbs. To understand locomotion in the horse, the first thing you need to recognize is that they travel in a completely different way than people. People are bipeds. They have two legs, and when people move, the way that they move is basically by throwing their center of gravity forward and then catching themselves. Basically, you fall and break the fall, fall and break the fall. Horses, on the other hand, quadrupeds having four legs um, are more structured like wheelbarrows. The weight is carried by the front legs and the hind legs serve as the motor or the thrusters. So although the horse has four legs, the front legs and the hind legs have very different function and need to be looked at um, with that in mind. Each gait has specific footfalls and beats. The walk has four beats and is approximately four miles per hour. The trot or jog has two beats and is eight miles per hour. The canter has three beats and is 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the gallop has four beats and ranges from 30 to 40 miles per hour. Approximately 80% of racehorse fatalities and almost all common lamenesses are due to injuries to the musculoskeletal system. Because of the nature of the horse's movement, the lower leg and hoof endure tremendous pressures, which make it extremely important to learn and to understand proper mechanics, balance, and overall hoof care to ensure the welfare and safety of our horses.